Hello, and welcome to our lesson on interpreting pie charts. So this pie chart shows the information of 120 students' results when they took a mathematics exam. So to begin with, we're going to calculate the frequency of those students who achieved the grade A star. We can see the grade A star is 36 degrees of our circle. And this 36 degrees is out of the entire 360 degrees inside the circle. And this is a fraction of the total sample, which is 120. So to calculate this, we're going to simplify this fraction. We can divide both by 36. So we have one tenth of 120, which is 120 divided by 10, which is 12. So 12 people attained a grade A star. Now we're going to work out the frequency for those who achieved the grade A. For grade A, we have 45 degrees out of the entire circle, which is 360. This fraction of the sample, which is 120. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 45. So we have 1 8 of 120, which is 120 divided by 8, which is 15. So 15 students achieved the grade A. Do you want to try and work out the frequency for those who achieved the grade B, C, and D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. For grade B, we have 27 degrees out of the entire 360 of the sample of 120. We can simplify this fraction 3 40th and 3 40th of 120 is equal to 9. For grade C, we have 42 degrees out of 360 of the sample. This fraction simplifies to make 7 60th and 7 60th of 120 is equal to 14. And the frequency of students who achieved the grade D, 120 out of 360 of the sample. This simplifies to make one third and one third of 120 to 40. Okay, let's move on to a different question. This pie chart shows which items are available within a PE lesson. And we are given that 15 people chose swimming. Do you want to try and calculate the frequency of those who chose athletics, golf, cricket, and tennis? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So you can see that the swimming here is one quarter of the circle, and one quarter of the circle represents 15 people. So if we multiply both by 4, we get the full sample of 60. So the total of all the frequency is 60. We can use this information to calculate the athletic golf, cr cricket and tennis. For athletics, we have 108 degrees of the entire circle multiplied by our sample of 60. And this is 18 people. For golf, we can see 36 degrees out of, again, the entire circle of the sample, which is 60, which is 1 tenth of 60, which is 6 people. For cricket, we have 72 degrees out of 360, multiplied by the sample size of 60, and this is 12 people. And finally, for tennis, we have 54 at the fraction of 360, the entire sample, which is a frequency of 9. We can check this works by adding each of the frequencies together. And we should get, which we do, is 60. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.